Hey guys, Malekith here with episode 39 of my Fall of the Samurai campaign. Now last episode you saw us send this massive army of about 20,000 troops, I think it was, down into Koachi. This uh, is the start of our war for the Sioux lands. Basically this whole little territory blob down here. So, they have one territory down here. Which is Ki. Yamato in the centre. Isi. I think that's how it's pronounced on the east, but its town is actually up here. So my current plan was to dispatch two armies down to Key, but I'm looking at it now and I don't know if I can get past. That looks like a river and that's the mountain, so maybe I have to go around. So maybe they will heading, be heading along the path to Yamato and then have to come down because that looks like the road there. So we'll send two armies that way, one to Yamato. And once that's dealt with, one further one can come down to Key. And the other two I will be sending up this way towards Iga and Isi to try and form, you know, like a barrier across here. And finally, we'll try and get Omni, and that gives us, oh, sorry, Omi, and that gives us a, you know, a two wide defense perimeter, if you like. Meanwhile, up here, Yamashiro is currently under siege. It can last another four turns. And it has, you know, quite a sizable defense of quite skilled troops in a... Uh, in the process of building a star fort, so it'll be the top tier castle. So, you know, they're not bad, sort of bad. They should do fine against this sort of level of troops. You've got no real sort of blitzkrieg mili uh, melee units to charge in with, as far as I can see. So, let's see. What else can we move this turn? Yes, my lord. Not a lot. At your command. So they were moving to join up with this army. At your command. I may throw in a few more uh, rifle units At actually out command. of here. And then these guys are coming down to be the garrison, freeing up the armies to uh, move out of these territories. So let's see, did I... Yep, I set that repairing. Up in the north we do have a couple of enemy armies floating around. This one just got dropped off by uh, Navy. But it's right outside one of our frontline forts. Who are currently upgrading to a star fort, so they'll be a top tier castle as well. So they are most wi uh, welcome to try their luck against Wakasa. Naval blockade. We have a pair of enemy ships. Let's go deal with them. going to stand and fight. Armoured frigate and a corvette. I'm going to auto-resolve that. There we go. So one ship took some damage. Now then, let's move these guys back into position. Just clipping the edge. And we'll send the damaged ship towards the nearest port for some repairs. Right then, I think that is all we can do for this turn of import anyway. My sword for you, my lord. In fact, the little armies around here do have some movement left, but not yes, my lord. significant Your amounts. Order, my lord. Right, Ready for let's order. send you there. As you command. And you can my take some of this artillery you, with you. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. And you can head that way as well. Destination reached. Ready for orders. We will march this army out because they look more of a field army than uh, that one there. Your order. Journey completed. Including the agents who don't ever want to join the army when it leaves. I'll make real men out of them. Attention, you slovenly samurai. Everybody marches. And we'll drop him in there. As, you command. as the garrison force. For you, my lord. And this navy's already bombarded, so that's pretty much done. Ready for orders. Yes, my lord. No one else really has any movement left. 
check my bar uh, blockade down here. Yep, it's fine. So. One thing I could do. No, they're not a great army, although that needs an upgrade. Let's just put it in there. Um, if this had been a bit more of a substantial army, I could have boarded them on these ships next turn and tried to drop them off as a, an amphibious assault. But that is a uh, port with guns, so maybe that wouldn't have been the best plan. Possibly the slightly longer route is the best one here. Okay, so let's end turn. Okay, now that's a uh, a change. So, would they now have? multiple armies heading this way and they've got some cannon maybe I need to start sending a relief force to Yamashiro Your orders, my lord. Ready for battle. let's march them back across there now then let's just do that Ready for you can head As that you way. Wish, my ready for orders. And you should be able to join them. Now. I'm going to stick with my plan and punch eastward with these. Now, which one do I want to lead with? That's the more substantial field army. Very well. Laying an ambush, my lord. As you wish, my lord. So there's not a lot there, actually. But we will continue heading that way. Without delay. Gathering supplies. Yes, my lord. Now you can come and engage these guys. Attack! As they run away. Right. My Go lord. lock them in place. Failed. Apparently he will not fail and then he does. So instead we'll pin down some of these Sioux armies up here. Awaiting your next command. I will not fail. And then he fails as well. Apparently I will not fail is a keyword for I'm going to fail horribly. That's a peasant army which I could quite happily sally out and destroy I think. That may be the best course of action. Let's uh, deal with the navy first. Now these two are repaired, so they can go rejoin that fleet. And he needs repairs. So these guys are going to be the relief force. They can hold out for three more turns, so they should show up, but they are taking casualties for each turn they're sieged, of course. It's in there. Yes, my lord. Now, which one of these has the cannon? That one. How may I sab can I sabotage that yes, army? No. Apparently it is not Shinobi Day today. You can move away from here now. Send you down to there as a scout of sorts. So key is very lightly held. Getting an upgrade going. And in there. Great Lucasa. Okay, let's get some recruits going in here. 
And actually, let's bring a naval detachment down. Nothing says get off my land more than bombarding. Okay, so what have we got left that can do stuff? They can move in close, but probably can't get to them. No, just out of range. They're heading off to do what they were supposed to be doing. He's heading up to relieve. They're sitting there to weather. I was going to send these guys out, wasn't I? To fight. Looks like mostly a peasant army. Let's do that, get them out of the way before their reinforcements show up and we end up with a double siege again. No, you're not getting away that easily. The daimyo, uh, son and heir, and the general. This could go badly for them. And I get two firings of naval bombardment. Dry, that suits me. Let's start deployment. So, let's see. Lots of infantry, whereas they've got lots of artillery. Let's start by seeing how many I can hide in trees. All of them. Perfect. And cavalry. Nope, there's still one there that's not hidden. Let's try over here. There we go, all hidden, and the general can hide spread out at the back. Now, because he can't actually hide in trees, I don't think, I think he is always visible. So we just put him as far away from their artillery as possible. Now, the main reason I'm doing this is I want to see what their reaction is first without them opening up with their wooden cannons going on some crazy bombardment. And secondly, I have the naval bombard, so if they just sit there stationary, that can tick down and I can drop it on their face. So let's go. Today, sir, we attack. Go, okay, they're moving. Moving to where is the real question? Now, I should be able to quickly redeploy as a line if I need to. See what they get up to. Have they stopped? Yep, they've kind of realised I'm over here in the trees, despite not being able to see any of my units, and have uh, aligned themselves accordingly, leaving two cannon exposed on the left, and their two cannon on the right are nicely shielded. So I can hook some cavalry round on this flank, that's for sure. But for now, we will wait a moment. Let's just accelerate. So you guys don't have to sit here watching me wait for a minute and a half. Tum, tum, ta tum. There we go. Right, let's just have a quick look at their units while that finishes. So they've got their levy infantry as their front line. Their spears are hiding in the rear. Particularly on their flank that's um, got the artillery exposed, so I need to watch that with my cavalry. Right then. Let's see, where can I hit? It's, that's a nice area. It's not too wide that I'll miss most of their troops, but it should catch those cannons as well. Let's try that. There goes the flare. Now we wait and see if the AI reacts. In previous events I've always thought they did react to it coming in, but I guess we will find out now. 
can hear the gunfire in the distance just about. Yep, they are reacting. Although, only one unit and in a very odd manner. There we go, that's what we wanted to see. Bodies. How many are going to get up? Just a few in the middle. So a lot of them seem to hit the open ground, but we did get a few good hits in there. Okay, time to deploy the troops. general out as well. So I've pulled it all the way up to the map edge just to make sure that none of them try to sneak around and it also means if they don't then I can swing that round as a lever on like a pivot point and uh, swing in on their flank. I'm expecting to come under fire from these wooden cannons shortly. Let's see, what did we kill? Two out of there, one out of there, 32 out of there, nothing, uh, 39, and three of the general's bodyguard. And we've got some of their cannon as well by the look of it. Here comes the return fire. Let's chase them, where they're going. Those are some good hits. They killed three and seven. So wooden cannons, although they have the parabolic trajectory and quite long range, not massively effective. Right, we got another shot. Let's put it down in the same place. Just to weaken this flank so I can swing in more. And I'm going to do something else here. Link it back up again. Have a unit of Sabre Cab fill that gap in the middle so they can charge out if they need to. And then you guys can head around this way. Then comes the bombardment, some good hits, especially on their guns this time. Oh, their, their whole army's falling back. They did not like that. Okay, let's redeploy this then. It's the map edge over there. Go. Nope, still missed a unit. There we go. Let's advance in. Oh, hang on, we've missed a unit there. Alright, you go for there. You just threaten this flank. You can walk. Come. You to stop. Suppression. Neil. And they are absolutely slaughtered.
Advance them up. Okay, let's um, see what they're doing. They're heading that way. Okay, we can deal with this. Oh, cavalry, back away. Let's have all of these units move up to there. Your victory is close, sir. All of these units shift this way. Move around to there. unit here can come stand in the middle somewhere. A unit has grown weary, sir. Charge these. Just to make sure they fall. Okay, they've broken. Let's reform this then, they're moving up. Generals come in. There we go. Flanking fire on their army. No, we're going to continue this, just to make sure. These guys running, they're not going to get very far with this many cavalry swarming around. Turn these guys off firing so they don't blow our own cavalry to pieces. And you. Let's 
So lots of uh, bodies scattering the field. As usual, most of them end up dying whilst fleeing. But that seemed to be the thing with most battles of this era, especially Napoleonic as well. Yeah, the losses incurred were really only huge once the units broke and fled. Just because they got run down by cavalry like this. So these guys can't quite decide where to run. They want to run one way and then they realise there's enemy all around them so they run the other way. They just keep running backwards and forwards. And now they're being brutally cut down. On his own. He's going for a charge. Oh, down he goes. And the last of their men flee the field in this direction. And I think that's it. Oh no, there he is. One last guy. The last levy infantry. And there he goes. And they had 19 men escape the field. So let's have a look at the scores. So kills wise, Sabre Cavalry, obviously going to top that. Uh, Kehatai, they had some quite a few losses, that must have been an exchange with a, uh, an enemy rifle unit. But all in all, it was a fairly predictable outcome. And a promotion. Ready for orders. So we can have a discreet mistress, which reduces the chance of being assassinated, or a bonus to movement range. We'll go with the bonus to movement range. And as he's a defense, we'll go with defender. And then he needs to head back towards as town, but he's not going to make it this turn. Let's see, can we distract the army? I will distract them. There we go. Enemy army distracted. So they won't be chasing him, so he can get back into the town. Now which one of these had the cannons again? That one. What do you wish of me? Distract army. Distract them. Enemy army distracted. So hopefully if the siege goes in, they will just stand there and do absolutely nothing. And okay, she's leveled up, I think. Yep. So let's see, she can have a hand warmer. With a picture of a cat. That's a little worrying. Or opera glasses. For a bonus sight. We'll go for the hand warmer. I'm still a bit concerned about it being a cat, however. Distracting garrisons. We'll go for that one. So, relief force heading north. This was part of the garrison and the melee units that were coming just in that general area. Uh, the Sioux have quite a few armies floating around up here. But... They have very little in their provinces down in the south, so they will be losing those rapidly. It's just whether I can hold off against the... Oh, I could never pronounce these guys. Gujoa Shiman? Shogunal Vanguard. It's whether my north defence lines can hold off against those guys. Whilst uh, we capture the Sioux land. Let's get some recruitment going back here. Oh, nothing of interest there, and I think those guys were already doing it. So, in here, some recruits going. 
Now then, let's check my finances. Good, everyone's paying the bills. They're not happy about it though. Because the army didn't get back, so we'll just do that for a turn. Make sure there's no rebellions. So. That should be everything. For this turn at least. Can't see any naval that he's doing. Nope. They finished their movement. Okay. Let's see if this siege happens then. Hopefully it will, because if my troops take too many more uh, losses, they may have to actually fight for it, really. So let's go. Your next command, sir. And here comes the siege, and it looks like they will be getting their uh, armies to assist them. Although minus a wooden cannon, but four parrot guns could cause some devastation. They also have some Kisho Ninja. So I would imagine this will probably be one of the toughest fights we've seen so far. So let's, let's uh, get it going. Okay, so setup time. Now this took a very long time to load compared to usual, so um, we may find that it lags a bit if they have quite as many units coming in as I think they do. But let's start, shall we? Let's get everybody out, lined up, so I can see what positions are filled and which are not. And we will start by hiding the general up here somewhere. Okay. And we'll put the Kisho Ninja up here as well as a reactionary force. Now, I'm going to start by putting the Kihatai on the outer walls where they can deal the greatest damage. So we have one there. One there. Oh, now that one's a problem, because we can't stretch troops round this stupid tower thing. So let's see, what can I do about that? Because these corners are usually points that get heavily assaulted. Let's put them there for now. We'll leave this corner for one of the smaller levy units. Uh, you're the smallest. There we go. Right. Where are you? You're back there. So, and we want this corner. And ah, this is another one of these weird ass garrisons at the back here. Okay, what I may do is leave both of those for now. Come back to them. Do that. There. And my final Kihatai unit. Just there. Now, these back ones can be filled with the levy. Oops. Uh, that one. There's he. Did I just steal one from the front there? No, I didn't. Okay, so that was him. So we'll put these two up on the back walls up here. The reason for that is they're quite close to the... As you can see, they can probably shoot over the heads of the friends. Which 
just then leaves me with my melee units. Now, the spears are a sacrificial unit. Wherever's getting swarmed, they run into head off to let the better units retreat. And I think the Kyoto police are probably in a similar situation, although they are slightly better at fighting. The enemy will come quietly, apparently. And then the katana. We will have back here as well. In fact, what I may do with the katana... Hmm, no. I'll put the spears as the sacrificial for the back, and the two Kyoto as the sacrificial for the fronts. With the katana as the ones where I think I may actually have a chance of winning. Or just really need the backup. So, that's my unit disposition. Let's set all of the shooting units to guard mode. I think I want guard mode. Uh, put some on defensive. Makes men hold position. They... Yep, they need to stay in position and hold the line. So, it's time to get this rolling. Prepare to defend, sir. And the enemy have massed to the rear. Which is not really where I wanted them. Katana, get back here. So they do have assaults coming from the other directions. But nowhere near as significant as I thought. Although the allies are coming on from this direction, so that flank will definitely take some uh, attacks. But it's definitely the rear of my castle with their secondary backup unit coming on. That is going to see the brunt of this fighting. And we have firing already, enemy cavalry charging. And they've already lost 40 men to their first volley. And are wavering. Yep, they've been dispatched. So I have no worries about the Kihatai units. It's this rear wall that's going to be the problem. Katana, you're running, aren't you? Start walking. I don't want you exhausted before you even start. Now we've got the general back here, so we can use his sphere of influence if we need to. And I will walk the shinobi this way as well. But I will put them in melee mode. I don't want them lobbing grenades at my own defences. So apparently we only had archery towers equipped in here, which is not a good thing. And here comes the counter fire. Shogunate infantry. Okay, let's bring that Kyoto police unit down here as well. As this whole left part of the map's uh, pretty much obsolete. These guys can get up here. So they're coming straight on at the walls. Sir, your hidden men have been spotted. My hidden men have been spotted. Massive enemy fire coming on this flank. These units over here, however, are holding the line admirably. We should not have any issues from that direction. The rear, however, is about to get hairy as they come up the walls. Another 
Katanas are standing ready. Kishon in the ninja. Prepare. This right wall as well is not looking healthy. Kehataya taking heavy losses. Okay, actually, these levy garrison. Get back on that wall there. You can cover that. These two. Enemy have claimed a tower. Katanas, go. We will not stand for this. And he's Kehatai. Go. He's Kehatai here. Form up there. You two get up here. I'm going to need you on that inner wall, I think. The men have taken an enemy tower. Overall, it's looking solid so far. Although the defense there is getting flaky. Get her, please, go. Where are you guys going? Kehatai, get back on that. Oh no, I told you to go off that wall, didn't I? Okay. Yep, this Kehatai unit has been wiped out. This flank is crumbling. Let's bring these guys across. You fall to that. You fall to that. We do appear to be holding the rear wall, however. The uh, throwing in of the katana seems to have worked. Okay, they're melee units. Let's pull them back. And we will rely on these guys here shooting at anyone coming up that wall. So the Kyoto police are vaguely holding, but that is enemy Shogatai. So they may not last long. Hopefully these Kyotai over here can get into position. This unit here is taking heavy casualties. In fact, I'm thinking I'm going to abandon the outer wall. Maybe not. Mm, can't decide. No, they are firing back. We'll leave them to it. Losing decisively. Kehatai are fighting to get in the gatehouse, apparently. Come on, get up the ramp, you stupid idiots. 
Over here, let's see. These guys are still forming up. And I don't know why they haven't fired yet. There we go. So that's that corner dealt with. These guys are now in position. Let's pull the Kyoto police back. the KSI unit round. So a combined fire from the wall and this unit here should pin these guys down. We'll have these guys go into guard mode so they hold position. There we go. Let's check that advance. North wall. We seem to be pushing them back. A unit has used all available ammunition. A unit's used all its ammo. Where are you? Okay, are you retreat. In fact, let's pull all of those guys off the wall. This one's still firing. Yep, they're just chasing, seeing off an enemy. Cavalry unit. On come the enemy reinforcements in this corner. Okay, so where's the unit? It's out of ammo. You got there. Okay, you're done. Stand. Let's march these units around. Flank is secure, we just have to deal with the new troops coming on from this direction. Stop what you're doing and change position. Sir, your hidden men have been spotted. Let's just have them go this way instead. So we have enemies coming up on this corner. So the Kyoto police are holding their own. These guys here should be in position shortly. Here we go. And fire. Come on. No, you're going to stand there. There we go. Let's 
Send the spears down onto there to cover that flank. Okay, that's all the units within the walls fleeing. So you two hold fire. Kyoto, fall back. So what do they have left? Unit of Sabre Cav, a unit of Boki, General's Bodyguard, and some artillery units, which are all just in the process of about to run. They're wavering. As friendly units flood out of the uh, the castle, having been shattered. So let's reorganise my defence. enemy's allies run like heathens from a preacher, sir. Okay, who's crouching? Okay, so everyone except you. Come form up here. And everyone else is doing fine. What is your command? You're out of ammo, so you can stay there. Levy infantry have got the place covered. It's garrison, 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 garrison. Those two are actually have infantry, so you four. Come down here. Because the garrison will play replenish itself. So if I use them as the cannon fodder. I think 77 Y cadets, although we don't actually use them for that purpose, despite the uh, the myths. <laughs> it's a nice thing to uh, continue perpetrating just for this purpose. So these guys will be leaving the castle first to take the brunt of the fire. Wow, that's um, this is the world's largest retreating Congo line. The amount of men retreating is quite extortionate. And there's Shogunate infantry as well. There's a few levy in there, but you know they should be battle-hardened troops. Never mind. I'm not going to complain too much. How's their ha morale doing? Still wavering. They're not actually deployed the guns. Is interesting. Oh, something's going on there. Maybe not. So, where are my garrison troops? Still maneuvering into position. We need a bigger sally gate, I think. So they're all moving into position. Spears. Ah, we have two gates. Excellent. You two go out there. You two go out there. You go capture that back quickly. So here we have the world's largest traffic jam. As they all attempt to get out the gate. Although these guys seem to be doing it a lot better than usual. We'll wait for the levy infantry garrison to come over and mess it up. Sir, and their tower is yours. They're not actually using both gates. Lovely. Okay. 
Victory plan? is assured, Close sir! Orders. Let these guys man the walls in case those cavalry do start rushing us. Oh, the Sabre Cav are shattered by the mere presence of the Levy garrison infantry. I'd imagine it's the smell of the peasants having been uh, kept in the siege for so long. The horses just couldn't stomach it and uh, they've joined the conquer line. The, uh, the enemy general looks less than pleased with his own morale. Kind of understandable when everyone else has relegged it. You show up to reinforce your allies and um, they're no longer there. Oh yeah, don't worry guys, we have two gates, let's all use one. Such sensible people. Okay, and advance. Meanwhile, these two can go out this gate. So they're not going to, are they? No, they're going to go out that one. And you two can go out that gate. Now the enemy guns should be deploying if they had an ounce of sense, but um, this is the AI, so... Yes. Oh, the stream is um a little clogged. That would not be fun to walk through. Let's see, sort of knee-high water with bodies on the bottom of a riverbed that probably wouldn't be flat to start with. Skirmish mode. Here comes the enemy cavalry. Oh, it's bulky. Loose formation. Charge. Oh, heavy casualties. Go, my peasants, go! Ah. And they fled. It was too much for them. Quick, capture the guns. No, oh, continue. We want the cannon. So while that's happening, let's have a quick survey of the uh, the northern part of the battlefield because that was where most of the action happened. So inside the walls, there was definitely some fighting at this end. But it seems most of them did die outside trying to get here. So we progress along. Oh, lots of fighting in there. That's the enemy Kisho Ninja. Splattered across the floor by, I'm not quite sure what. 
If the Levy Infantry achieve that, then uh, I'm very impressed with them. I can't remember if I sent the Katanas in there or not. Same along here. Although in this case, most of the ninja died outside. Gunned down before they could do their Spider-Man impression. And on this corner, there was definitely lots of fighting up here, as we can see. Plenty of uh, people got inside the walls here. But we did throw the Katana in to uh, force them back. So, have we got these guns yet? Oh, apparently we're shooting our oh, friendlies. No, I told you to melee. Stupid units. A unit is running from the battlefield, sir. Good job, Levy. You shot the other Levy into fleeing. So, my garrison infantry did more damage to my own troops than they did, apparently. Never mind. Okay, that'll do. Heroic victory. Your foes were utterly crushed. So, let's see. Have we lost an entire unit of Kehotai? It's unfortunate. But, um... Overall, we only lost 1,441 units. Whereas they lost 5,936. But a sizable portion still remain. We did, however, capture a couple of parrot guns. So let's actually have a look at the battle details. Kills. Kehotai, no surprise. Now, they took quite a few losses. I would imagine those were the guys that ran out of ammo, but um, don't hold me to it. But look at the promotion. And then a couple of units of levy infantry. Which I would imagine were the guys at the back. So they did an excellent job. Kyoto police threw their lives into that fight to hold them up while uh, everyone else redeployed. Katana's 133 kills for 2 deaths. And 71 kills for 8 deaths. That's um, insane. The Kisho Ninja and the General didn't get involved. This unit of Kyoto Police killed 1. So. What does he look like here? And their armies are scattered. Sabotage attempt. General increases in rank. I think I know which one that is. Railway, Shinobi, Sea Route, yep. So, what was it he tried? Oh, a sabotage attempt. He was trying to sabotage the railway. Okay. So, in here, our army was battered, but we are victorious. And uh, it's not quite as battered as theirs. Yes, my lord. So I think, guys, that's a good place to end the episode. And we will see the continued assault on the Sioux lands whilst trying to hold off the Shogunal vanguard in the north. My main concern is that these guys, the Aizu and the Matsum... Matsume, who are the yellows, I think it's yellow, up on the top haven't put in much of an appearance. Which does make me wonder what they've got in plan, like in store for me. Whether there's a veritable train of troops marching slowly down here. Because uh, these Shogunal Vanguard armies do appear to have just spawned out of nowhere. But we will have to wait and see. So thanks for watching guys, see you next time.